Get your indie fix at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. Get 35% off any digital download with the coupon code LODI, including our latest release, RWA Fury 5, featuring Jesse Bell Smothers, WCW's Lodi, and more. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Indie Mayhem Show number 11. We're still in the double digits. Uh, still making it. We're 11, 11 episodes, 11 interviews, having fun. I'm Sorgatron, Mike Sorg here in Pittsburgh, PA. At Sorgatron on the Twitter is the uh, the guy behind Sorgatron Media. And we get around and we do a lot of shooting here with uh, indie wrestling, including the International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance here in Southwestern PA, uh, as well as many others and documentaries and all that kinds of stuff. And uh, my buddy I'm going to be talking indie wrestling with every week, as we have been, is Eamon, who is uh, at Eamon to please on the Twitters and uh, and uh, the announcer actually the ring an- not a ring announcer but the ring side announcer commented. ring side yeah yeah that's good ring side announcer even though he's maybe not ring side exactly but it still counts for, I'm uh, on a stage and it's the ring it's for fine the fantastic uh, upstart Inspire Pro Wrestling down there in San Antonio Texas how are you doing this week sir yes I am in San Antonio Texas not. Inspire Pro Wrestling in San Antonio, Texas, but we, I, we'll make it work. We got it. We got this. Yeah, I'm I'm traveling all over the place. So yeah, yeah I I'm, see you stuttering. Right? I see you stuttering. I think you're a little guilty, sir. I'm a, am I a little guilty of what? I think you are because you went to the big time WWE show last night. I did, and it was so weird. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about that, but it's so weird going to a mainstream wrestling show now. Like, I, I, it threw me. It really did throw me. Have you not been to one for a while? And then you just... Uh, it's, I, it's obviously less frequently, but it's always just weird. Like, as far as, like, bell times go and, like, you know, getting to the arena, like, it's... And realizing, do, do, wait, realizing you have to pay for parking. Do, do you find <laughs> yourself, like, like, like panicking because you don't know absolutely everything about everybody in the ring that you and think you should be talking about them kind of yeah okay okay yeah so it's all it's a constant struggle the struggle is real it's as they struggle. say you're new to this you're new to this figuring this out and everything well you know i'm kind of the same because i go to i've always said i go to raws i don't go to watch raw i go to watch no. all the video monkeys running around at ringside because I, I watch all that stuff i, I always say hey chachi you want to get one of those big steady cams that carry around at ringside or something you know he's like god no because they have like a harness and everything and that's how they get all those moving shots I, and, yeah and, and watching the uh watching the jib the jib camera fly by you if you're up in the stands and everything like that you know like that that's when i, I i'm there for the show you know to see yeah. and see you know what you don't see in front of the camera a little bit um but yeah, I, that, that, that aspect's really cool uh, for me it's also the people watching People watching that's fun too. WWE or people, shows or people listening. Or people listening. Also, I've been to very few indie shows that can do the production of the giant Fandango symbol thing, which is amazing live. It is. It is. That definitely. is underrated for an amazing uh, entrance piece. But yeah, exactly. Of course, this is the indie. No, mayhem. Enough, enough mainstream wrestling. No, it's not mainstream because it's the indie mayhem show. It's a passion project here. We are a part of it. We dig it. We like to talk about it. We want to talk about talk with people. Uh, from both our sides this week. It's my week. We're going to get somebody local in here. But first here, first of all, thanks a lot to Basic Sickness for that intro theme. Uh, check out BasicSickness.com. You got free downloads. He's got a new music video, actually. I don't know if he's got it linked over there, but I know we've been sharing it on that Twitter account, at Mayhem Show. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook uh, and on Google+, and the Great Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Of course, this is a spinoff of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And you can drop us a line... Uh, uh, to the email address good times at wrestling mayhem show.com uh, please put indie in the subject line if you're talking about this show uh, or drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0 leave a voicemail let us know what's on your mind about indie wrestling or anybody we should talk to any questions for the guests coming up uh, the next week 
or, or about the indie uh, uh, playlist challenge we have on YouTube. This week, Ricky Starks will be talking about, by the way, later in the show, um, and all that kind of stuff. You can also find us on iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Spreaker. We're on iHeartRadio if you have that app. We're, comp- yeah. we're coming for you, Mikey and Big Bob. Um, all that kind of stuff. We're all over the place, guys. And, of course, uh, the YouTube slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. And you can join us here every Tuesday, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. But we actually do start back at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 Central for Eamon, uh, for the Wrestling Mayhem Show over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, SorgatronMedia.com. We have all the links to the live feeds right there. Uh, so with no further ado, uh, we have our guest this week. Again, this is a guy that has uh you know i've seen you i've seen him come up through the business you could say a little bit and it's uh really fantastic to see uh what he's doing with the international wrestling cartel here in the uh western pa area um he is andrew palace self-proclaimed or maybe it's joe dombrowski proclaimed goggle enthusiast yeah yeah i like goggles that's what's up let me let's let's first touch on this okay Uh, now now the big the first thing Coming out of the gate. Well, yeah. other than hair, oh, well, you got you got some hair going on yeah, there. Yes, you got I do. pulled back. You got a pretty fantastic fro of hair yes. going on. Yes, I do. Kudos on that. Uh, but you wear goggles to the ring. I do wear goggles. Um, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> why don't you wear goggles? Uh, I. You wear glasses. Everybody wears glasses. Nobody. Well, there's a few people that wear goggles, you know, like that one dude that was in Too Cool and all that. But my God. Grandmaster go- Sexy? Wait, are you patterning yourself after Grandmaster Sexy? No, no, I'm saying my goggles are better than his. Okay. Who, who did that guy ever beat? It, yeah, he didn't beat <laughs> me and he didn't beat my goggles. My goggles are, I don't know. I'm a unique individual, and goggles are unique in a way. So, put the two uniquenesses together, and uh, get a little Andrew Palace. Little well, Andrew Palace. Yeah. <laughs> now, now you are uh, very related to a uh, 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 couple. Well, I guess one faction as a whole, of course, with with the IWC. Uh, you're part of the STDs. Yes. The sexy, talented. Dudes, <laughs> which of course, you, Chess Flexor has been on the show before. You might remember that was the most revealing interview we had, literally he, on he, video. He told me I shouldn't be wearing clothes for this. Do you want no, me to? No, 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 I'll just keep this T-shirt on. Just okay. gonna keep this T-shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me about the sexy talent it is. Like, like, yes. like, I know, I know. I always hear Joe Dabrowski's commentary uh, on on our side. And one, you're the Google enthusiast. You have the, a the goggle. A, I'm sorry, goggle. Google <laughs> goggle. I have Google Glass. I, I use I use time. goggle. I mean Google. I Google goggles. What happens when you Google goggles? Uh, Wearing goggles while googling goggles. Oh. Oh my god. Do we dare try it during this interview? <laughs> I hope it's a picture of you. <laughs> I I wouldn't be surprised. I hope that that happened. Um anyways, what the hell were we talking yeah, about? Uh, uh sexy talented dude. Yes. So I mean it, it's a menagerie of interesting individuals, yes. I guess you could say. Yes. And uh you know, it it's not just like our characters. Like we are those people in real life. I kid you not. You you I'm met us. I'm very aware of this. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. I am a unique, um, very hyper, a little cocky, a little bit full of myself. But you know, I'm genuinely a nice guy. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 just a weird, crazy dude. Mm-hmm. Then you got Brian McDowell, the bowler that gets angry all the time. Guess what? He gets angry all the time. You say something mean to him, he will want to kill you. No joke. Corey Futuristic, he will tell you exactly what he thinks of you. He doesn't care if it hurts your feelings. He'll tell you. And then he'll smack you in the face. He doesn't care. And then you have Chess Flexor. I mean, you you interviewed him. That's how he is. He, 
he opens side doors of vans on the highways and just hangs out of them like a crazy person. <laughs> He'll grab someone's shoe and throw it on the road in the middle of the highway. This guy's crazy. It, it You know that. I mean, I'm not saying anything you don't already know. No, no. no but we, we're, we're telling the people. Yes, the people. Chest flexor, crazy. Brian, angry dude. Corey doesn't care if you like him or not he'll tell you the truth and then there's me i'm just unique and crazy and wonderful and beautiful um and of course you you, you came up through you know, like i said i've known you have, you know setting up rings with the iwc yeah, you know yeah. you came through the school there who mm -hmm. trained you uh justin idol justin idol did mm -hmm. um of course we you know, a long time mayhem show uh i think they were our first interview with sexual harassment him oh. and eric ecstasy um a uh, great guy um what you know, what was that training like through the IWC, uh, IWC school? Um, because, I mean, this is a school that's that's put out people like uh, Shima Zaya, now the Zima Ion, or uh, was he DJ Z? Uh, was it DJ Z on TNA now? I keep forgetting what yeah. he changed his name Yeah, something to. like that. I, yeah. mean, I mean, guys like that, uh, guys like, um, you, know, you know, Jason Gorey uh, came through there. Um, um, you know, you know people, are, people are kind of like, you know, facade of course is doing great things all over the place with extreme rising and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, a really good pedigree for something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the training, it was like the classes were a little bit messed up cause people were quitting cause it was, it was too hard for them or something. Which they is, didn't, which is going to happen. Yeah. Which is going to happen and classes got combined and some more people quit. It, it was crazy in that perspective, but like Justin Idol, he, like you could do a suplex and you could think it's the best suplex ever and he'll be like he'll be like oh you didn't move your foot an inch this way do it again and then you do it again and he's like ah you could have you could have arched your back more or you could have so, done so this so he's very it sounds like he's very technique focused yes so yeah it's, it's like good. every little thing mm -hmm. every little thing and that's good cuz it it helped me to learn it helped me to learn to do it the right way instead of the half ass way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh and uh Super Hentai also helped. He would come down and he he was very like anal about that kind of stuff too. So now he's a guy I, we talked again, another guy we talked about two uh years ago on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Now I know he is very you know notoriously went to Japan and actually did a little bit of training over there. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that the do you see that Japanese mentality come through in his training? I do. I do. I mean, he's, uh, he tries to keep, he's, he's pretty brutal. Like he, like <laughs> now, and, magic, he is pretty brutal. Like he, he wants it. it it's going to be stiff and mm -hmm. Japanese wrestling can be pretty stiff. He wants yeah. it. He, yeah, he, he wants stiff wrestling and, uh, he, he's good with technique and all that stuff. Real great. Awesome. Yeah awesome uh and of course I, like i feel like like you know looking at you know the the, the stds mm -hmm. looking at stds <laughs> yeah just <laughs> looking at them just looking at them the bubbly greatness observing them observing them smelling uh, them i mean you you guys were kind of like a strange fractured you know people that's not the right way for me to put this. Okay. But no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. But but uh, it, it seems like you guys all kind of gravitated to Chess Flexor. I know Chess Flexor is is involved a lot in training as well. Mm -hmm. um, he's been around with IWC a good long time, um, and, and it feels like 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 he's formed you guys into you know a, a greater whole there. Yeah. As the STDs. Like 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 I, I feel like you guys are are such. I want to say you know, peculiar characters by yourself, but as a collective, um, you always have the most interesting happenings at your table, for instance, at, the, at, 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 uh, intermission. Um, <laughs> yes. A lot of pictures come out. Of oh that, yeah. Oh you know? yeah. Um, and, and plus I've, I've always been impressed, uh, over the last year of the video, the videos you guys are putting out. Oh, thank you. Um, personally, like, like, you know, I feel like individually, you guys are characters that could be, you know, maybe forgotten in an indie mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Um, and I see a lot of similar guys, you know, in IWC and other things that do feel like they get lost in the shuffle. But I feel like you guys have, have turned into something different, oh. you know, and stick out yeah. a bit more. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and backed it up in the ring for the most part, too. Huh. Well, 
Thanks. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> what, what, but what's the like? How do those videos come together? Are you guys like? I, I know I see you guys at Denny's afterwards. I, I oh I, yeah. I have a feeling you that's that's pretty much you guys all the time. Yeah. And it feels like that in the ring, in the videos. You know, it feels like there's a bunch of people brainstorming and coming up with some really clever shit. Honestly. Yeah, it's like we'll all come up with like little ideas and stuff, and then Chess will be like, "Okay, we're not going to do any of that stuff." And we're going to be like, okay. He's like, we're going to do this. And then it's like, okay, but let's add this in and let's add this in. Like, Chest is, I would say, the biggest genius behind it all. Mm -hmm. Like, he, his mind works in strange, crazy ways. But then we all put our little bits and pieces in. And, uh, like, out comes the STD pie. <laughs> But excellent, excellent. Yes. So let's bring it back a little bit. Let's bring it back yeah, a little let's bit. Bring it back. Um, we, we like to establish, you know, I think, you know, a lot of people on the show uh, that we have on, you're a wrestler because you're a wrestling fan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It all started somewhere. And, 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 and so what was, uh, what, what do you think is your earliest kind of memory? When you say, hmm. I, I am, I remember wrestling because it started here, or I remember because yeah. of this moment. Like, what, what comes to your mind? Um, I, I know I was real young. Um, I remember watching it with my uncle and I and with uh with my grandpa and all that kind of stuff. Um I I don't I it must have been SmackDown or something. Uh at my house I only had like two channels on my TV. And I remember turning the TV on and turning it to like the second channel. And uh I saw Undertaker coming out giant robe these flames and I was just like, "Wow, this is this is this is awesome. This is like a comic book coming to life. This is crazy. And uh, then I started watching it more and more uh, at my uncle's house and my grandpap's house. They, they were WCW fans. Mm -hmm. And uh, they turned me into a big uh, Goldberg fan just because he, you know, went in there and destroyed people. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and I started getting more into it. And yeah, and when I say I'm going to do something... I do it. It was just kind of like this is going to happen. I, I I see I see Undertaker in the ring and and I want to I want to get in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, and nobody can tell me I can't. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I looked at it. I'm like, I'm going to do that. And people are like, Oh, you're not going to do that. You're not. <laughs> you. Don't, why don't you be a police officer or or a nurse or you know something <laughs> else? And I'm like, eh. They nah, won't let you wrestler. wear the goggles when you're a nurse, right? I I could in the surgery room. I just can't. I just, yeah. I just can imagine being ready for for surgery, and this is coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best picture. Is that a Dan Hufen pick? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's I, he's been doing some great picks at the shows recently. We should actually probably get him on. So we've had a, uh, a photographer. Yeah, I before, love his stuff. So. Yeah. Um, it, 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 you know, IFCs, I think missed like some real, like good still photography over the years. I always wanted to get yeah. somebody in there regularly. I hope he just sticks around and keeps doing this stuff. Does he come in from Philly? Like I saw no. his Twitter. It says he's, he's in Philly or really? something. Yeah. I did not know and that. And that blows my mind yeah. that he's coming <laughs> in from that. If they, he's just like an amateur photographer, I guess. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, at, at Daniel Hooven, if you want to want to check it out. Um, but he's got some great photography. Yeah, check it out. After the shows, he's, he's always got some great stuff posted on there. It's on the, the IWC's uh, Facebook group. And all, all, all you guys are, yeah. are sharing his pics around, too. Mm -hmm. uh, some really fun stuff. Yeah, I love his stuff. So, um, excellent. So, so I mean... So what are what are some some other moments uh, kind of coming up, you know, watching getting into what we are watching, watching wrestling that, that 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 really kind of stick out in your mind? <laughs> Just there's a lot of Mick Foley stuff. I love the fact that he would put on, uh, put his body on the line mm -hmm. like. And just just to make someone smile, just so they go to that show and you're they're like, yeah, I got my money's worth, you know, mm -hmm. or I'll never forget that. And I thought that was amazing. It's like he's – it just seemed like he was really doing it for the fans because, I mean, what guy really wants to fall off of a giant cage like for their own enjoyment, you know? Um, so it's like a lot of stuff from him. Um, I, I, I loved Hogan's stuff. I loved how he could just get on the mic or just like wave his hand like this and the crowd would go crazy. And it's mm -hmm. like these people love him and it's like he – he just brings them all in. 
And I love that. And and honestly, you you seem, um, of a lot of the newer wrestlers, um, Mm -hmm. it it seems that you're very crowd aware. Yeah. As far as that goes. So is is that where you get something like that? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) I I, I do. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. Awesome. Um, I want to get into, uh, you, you, you know, again, you, you came out through IWC. IWC yeah. is kind of a great place because there is so much talent kind of mm-hmm. coming in and coming out. And I've been, it's been pretty amazing. I, I was just trying to compile a quick list here of people I remember you uh, uh, having matches against in the last year. Uh, I have Matt Stryker, who came in in December. Yeah. Gregory Irons, who you had yes. in uh, 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 end of last month at New Era, I believe, Like right? February, I think. It was February, yeah. Yeah, yeah which I believe broke your goggles if i remember (laughs) (laughs) um uh zima ion of course i had a great match with him um what what's it like like you're you're still you've probably only been wrestling what two years right almost two years almost two years you've Mm -hmm. always had people in tna and wwe uh, uh names are kind of all over the indies right now um um what what is it like to kind of get those opportunities like especially this young in your career it it feels like a blessing because it's like i look at myself and it's like don't get me wrong i don't think that i'm not special of course i think i'm special you know (laughs) but but it's like there's so many other guys that never get chances like that they never get opportunities and some of them some of them might have wrestled twice as long as me three times longer than me Mm -hmm. and they never got to wrestle someone like matt striker or zima ion or any of those and i got to wrestle a whole list of them you know Uh, and and it's really cool to see somebody like striker coming in too because i i like i felt like anytime like there were younger guys in the ring it felt like after every match i saw him backstage talking with them about their match he's very and I've always loved this commentary because it feels like he's very much like a student, a fan, and wants to yes. give it back. Like he he gets that mentality, yeah. You know, and he's not. I, I love that he's not big shit because he's in WWE. Like mm-hmm. he's, he seems very humble as far as that goes. Yeah, I mean he he's pretty funny too because it's like the first time I met him, it's like, oh hey, I'm Andrew, and he's like, oh I've seen a lot of your stuff. I'm like, oh really? He's like, yeah, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh. Thanks. He's like, oh, okay. This yeah. is gonna be a great match. Yeah. Here we go. And then, and then we started talking and stuff. And uh, I, I forgot. Like, I lost my train of thought when I was talking to him. And I was like, uh, uh. And he's like, Do you know how to speak English? Do you know how to speak any language? He's like, Let's try a different language. Do you speak Spanish? Maybe we can talk Spanish with one another because you can't speak English to me. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he did this all in a sarcastic way. He wasn't being like. A total ass or anything he was just like he's he's a very sarcastic person but like he'll teach you anything he'll help you with anything and like mm. he he did teach me a lot good yeah good. um so i mean at least one of our questions so i mean again you've had a few of these guys you know striker of course who, who do you think you've learned learned the most from in your travel so far whether uh, training or actually you know having a match with yeah. them, or even just like a backstage encounter or something like that uh that one's a tough one because, uh, like, you learn something new every day for, like, well, like, maybe not every day. But every time you wrestle, you learn something new. Mm-hmm. And uh, just, I mean, Zima showed me not to be afraid of doing new things and putting yourself out there. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, Chess Flexer, he, he showed me all around the business. Like, he helped me get into it. You know, uh, Bobby Fish actually um, talked to me for like 45 minutes in the back Mm -hmm. and other people came up to him and they're like, hey, Bobby. And he'll he'd be like, oh, uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm talking to him right now. Oh, cool. And it's like, wow, he like Mm. uh, he cared. uh, Justin, Super Hentai, just uh, just everyone like I like everyone. I, I, I can't really pick one because they all showed me something a little bit different and it all helped mold me. So I, I can't give the credit to one guy. <laughs> I have to talk about you. you know, we, 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 we talked about chest flexor, your, you know, your STDs. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. I I, I'm thinking about how I'm going to write this description um, to, for the show. Uh, 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 Wheels is saying he's an STD follower. He loves working with uh, yeah. uh, you and Flex. Um, were you guys working VOW with him? Or, yeah. 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 VOW. Yeah. Uh, Fish of South Caps Wrestling, uh, who's around usually Connellsville. Yeah. They, they run they run a, a good bit. Good mm-hmm. shows. I've, I've been to a couple. Yeah. Good of stuff, them. too. So. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, and my question was, oh, yeah, Froflex. Yeah. I wanted to ask about Froflex. Froflex. I learned about this recently. <laughs> and I also learned that you guys also became the tag team champion uh, someplace. That is there it right. is. Oh, oh, look, there's Darren. <laughs> Darren. A <laughs> <Hey>, double D. <laughs> so, so, so I'm really glad that the mayhem bump is still in effect for chess flex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he just has to be everywhere. What he can't just have his own interview. He has to <laughs> butt into mine. Thanks, Chest. Hey, but you got to go along for Rick. Because I think after the first, I think we counted after the first interview, because I think that's after that he started holding the, the tag belts for the Gambinos. Mm-hmm. And, and now this. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's pretty awesome. It was a tag team tournament. So it's like we had to beat three other teams that night. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of them was Destin Vane and Kid Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've heard the Kid Cupid stories from Mr. Dabrowski. Kid Cupid. Um, then there was the Headless Horseman, which is Gory and uh, Matt Connard. Okay. Yeah, and, I've, I've seen that around. Is it, is, is it as interesting as Generation Dead is with those two? Because um, I, I, I don't know. Well, you you've know, probably seen a VFW. There, there's more. I think uh, Generation Dead has more like darkness. Yeah, yeah. And I, like, I, I'm just getting a taste of them yeah. in RWA, uh, him and Gory. So, uh, and I know they've been doing VOW, I think, as a team, right? Yeah. Um, and I know my it, wife is like, I love this team. I like, yeah. It's they're they're more of a high flyer team because yeah. you know both of them oh, are yeah. high flyers. Oh yeah. Uh, Matt Connard, he's more like brutal. He's taller guy, mm-hmm. more boots to faces kind of thing. Okay. So, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's kind of a fun mix. Yeah. Between those guys. Hmm. Um. Excellent. I, I love seeing what Gory's been doing all around because he seems like like he was with uh, 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 like what do they call him in Prime? Um, the Dead Society. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the yeah. Wrestling Dead Society yeah, wrestling or dead something. Yeah, Wrestling Dead Society up yeah. there, and he's he's kind of brought that out. And you got Generation Dead, you got Headless Horseman, and stuff like that. Yeah, like he's really kind of reinvented his character a lot over the last few years it's been really really interesting he's become like a lot more of a monster yeah you know it's like he's an actual uh uh yeah, he's monster. Gone, it's been amazing because he's gone from kid with face paint. <laughs> yeah, those flippy moves. And and the first time I saw it was when I hadn't seen him for a while, and he popped up in RWA when I started filming down there. And there was like like he figured out presence. Like he, mm-hmm. he walked out, I was like, bam! It's like this is something different, and this is going to be fun. I mean, I know it works because my mom hates him. <laughs> my mom hates him. Like. Like, she'll be talking to me. She'll be like, yeah, you know, we're coming to your match. I just hope Gory's not wrestling. I hate him. I hate Gory. <laughs> that's like, the best. I know. That I'm like, best. I'm like, how can you hate Gory? She's like, he he goes out there and he, he spits the blood and stuff. No, I hate him. <laughs> he's she always, doesn't sound like that. He's but, you always know. a good guy um, because every time every time I'm, I I have have somebody shooting him, I'm like, get the face. He's oh. doing the when he's doing the interest. You know he's mm. gonna do the blood thing. You know he's gonna do something. Like he I'm like you get on his face. Yeah. Um and there's always gonna be something fun there. Yeah, he's uh he doesn't look like other guys. You know, you get yeah. like five buzz cut hair guys in the ring and you just look at all their faces, it's like, okay, they're you know, they're athletes, whatever. You see a picture of him and you're like holy shit what what does this guy do who is he and i feel like it's something when you do that kind of gothy thing mm-hmm. it comes off really bad a lot of times you oh. just look like a bad goth kid with face playing yeah and and he's really has turned it into a really good character and i, and I love that it's becoming like an infection or whatever they're yeah it too, so. infection <laughs> like the stds <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah only we infect in other ways yeah, yeah, the crowds apparently. I'm getting, I'm getting some pictures here of. Uh, oh, I lost it. I'm on the, on the, I'm on the, I'm on the canceled Extreme Rising show. Uh, <laughs> I can't. That was. I can't. Uh, I was mad about that one. I was, I was looking forward to it. I, I was pretty mad too. But, 
Maybe I'll find those again. <laughs> um, anyways, back to it. Like I said, you've been on for a little bit, doing the training, doing the, you know, traveling around a little bit. Um, and we like to, you know, kind of put out there, and this is where you want to air or, or whatever, you know, wh you know, what is, you know, kind of the best thing about indie wrestling for you at this point, you know? Like, just as a whole kind of as well as a whole anything specific you know what whatever it is like what is what is what is even like what is the point when you're like yeah i made a good career choice here you know because <laughs> it's kind of hard at indie wrestling for all the things you deal with yeah. you know um well it's like you go through the week and you're just a normal person mm -hmm. just like everyone else and it sucks and you hate everything and people i i just i hate people Mm -hmm. Sometimes, mm -hmm. a lot of times, but then the show comes like the wrestling show. And it's like, finally, I can, I can be me. You know what? When I'm out there, that's me. That's mm -hmm. just me. Just a, mm -hmm. with less clothes and <laughs> amped up a little bit less more. Clothes, bit, less co clothes, more hair and goggles. And it's like, I don't have to be this boring individual that has to follow society's rules in a way i can go out there and i can be a super awesome villain hero you mm -hmm. know and it, it's like it's like i can f i feel like i can grab my personality all throughout the week that i didn't get to express and i can just shove it in people's faces and i like that and i like putting body oil on that's fun too I don't get the body oil. I you don't get oil. no. Let me tell you about it. Tell me about the body oil. Let me tell you about it. All right. Then again, I mean, do I look like a guy that should be doing body oil? You know, I'm not. No, I'm you not, get someone yeah, else I'm to body oil turn. you. Oh, you. It's not what I was getting at, but okay. Yes. Well, I. I mean, don't use baby oil. Baby oil smells funny. I'll I know. I, use coke. I hate it when they no. come out there, and I'm like, what is? No, what no, is no, 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 no. Those people, they they need to change that because you use cocoa butter. What, are you are you making a stand against the body of the the baby oil wrestlers out there in in the indie wrestling? No, you world? know what they they some of them don't wear baby oil. Some of them wear cocoa butter, and that stuff smells great, and it makes your skin smooth. It's great. It's like I'd much rather grapple a man wearing cocoa butter. Than baby oil, you know, it's just it's less weird. Uh. <laughs> Are you okay over here, Damon? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Please take that to your friends and say. I'm, I'm, I'm taking notes. I'm <laughs> taking lots of notes right now. You can buy it at Walmart. It's right next to the baby oil. You know, some days it's like, hey, instead of putting a shirt on, let me just rub some cocoa butter, and let's go to Giant Eagle. You know. Let's buy some turnips. <laughs> what? Mate. You don't like turnips? I don't think oh. I ever have. I don't think I ever have. Oh, okay. I had the pleasure. Okay. Um, I don't even want to go this other way now. But So what sucks about being an indie wrestler? <laughs> Apparently baby Apparently oil. Apparently people with baby oil. Well, when they don't wear cocoa butter <laughs> and they wear baby oil, my God. It's right next to it. It's right next to the baby oil. Just get the cocoa butter. It smells so much better. What is wrong with you? No, that's not the worst thing. Um, worst thing is hairy armpits. No, I'm just, oh, I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm just I kidding. Just, Nobody's that stupid not to shave their armpits. Um, I had an interesting conversation with a friend that became a pro wrestler when he was at the point where he's like, oh, this is the part where I have to shave my body. And we, I remember that was, day. You, like, is there, okay, okay, here's, a, here's, a, here's an in-depth question. Is there a, a, a typical shave your body day of, of any wrestling? Kind of, yeah. And at what point does that come in the training? For me, for me, it's like I was wrestling. I was at... I was at wrestling training and I put the headlock on someone. I no, I think I put on Justin. Yeah. And then he threw me off of him and stuff. And he's like, he's like, dude, you need to shave your armpits. I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong with my armpits? And it's like, you, you can't have hair there. I'm like, well, okay, I guess I'll shave my armpits. So I shave my armpits. And then other wrestlers were saying, Oh well, you gotta shave your legs too. It's like okay, I'll shave my legs. You know, so it becomes a, like an experiential conversation yeah. at this point. Yeah, and uh, eventually, you find yourself on the day before shows or the day of shows, shaving your legs in the shower. You gotta buy new razors, but I only shave from the knee up because my kick pads cover up my uh, bottom leg, and I can keep that masculinity. Is that 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I guess people would never see that part usually, except for when you're in tights. Yeah. See, see, it's like, so you get, you get your knee and you start shaving. I shave it like, like I'm sanding, like sanding paper. I just, and I just keep going like that because I, I don't care to buy new razors all the time. So you got to get that doll razor and you got to make it work. Right. I mean, all, all of us men do that. Right? right? It's a manly I'm, thing. I'm sure Eamon does. Yeah. That's, that's the one reason why I can't be a pro wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> this is what holding him see. back. There's... It's not his size, his size or his lack of athletic ability. No, it's, not that at all. It's, it's, wait, show that again. I didn't have your camera up there. Say, it's, 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 this it's... is kind of like all over. Oh. Like, it's Jeez. pretty bad. <laughs> Ouch. That'd be a... Oh, you'd have to do it two days before. Yeah, it, it with a weed whacker or something like. <laughs> I, but I, but now I know. Now I know. Yeah, that's that's really what this show is going to be about. Apparently, is all the reasons why we are not professional wrestlers, <laughs> <laughs> as we learn. Yeah, like today. Uh, Amy, do you have any questions about oil or anything else? <laughs> I can oil? answer them. Uh, I can no, answer. I think I got all my questions about oil answered. Are you, um, are you sure? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess the I the only other question I can ask is I think in the sense of your future continuing as a pro wrestler, do you have any um, goals that you have in mind? Whether it's in IWC or you know working for other companies or, or uh, expanding, like what what are some of your goals? I guess I would say uh, for going forward in wrestling, other than being the Undertaker. Other than being the Undertaker. Okay, so I can't beat the undertaker um, no be the undertaker be the undertaker yeah. i can be whatever the hell i want to be. <laughs> okay okay all right yeah, we'll, we'll tell him that's fine well anyway to answer your question um i'll start off small and i'll get bigger how about that okay okay mm. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> well anyway in the iwc i want to win super indy I'm going to win Super You Indy. are the first entrant into Super Indy this year. And that's mm-hmm. that's the truth. Of beating Matt Stryker, I might add. That, that's right. I beat so Matt Stryker. First entry in Super Indy. Definitely let us know the last couple of shows about that. What is that supposed to mean? I'm saying that you let everybody know about that. Good, the last good. And, of everybody, shows. and everybody should know. I think you are now the, the only show, entrant, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I'm just pointing that out. Anyway. <laughs> assisting the story i i want to win i want to win super indy and of course winning super indy would you would win the title mm. the super indy title unless they uh, change the rules again i don't know yeah unless they change the rules <laughs> they've done that before i mean maybe i'll get like a free pass for like going corral or something whatever <laughs> i want to win super indy it really should come with tickets to kennywood Ooh, that'd be pretty cool i mean I, i'd like that yeah yeah i mean it's kind of our disneyland around here yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm telling <laughs> Chuck. I'm telling Chuck. If you're on a budget, I'd a while. Storybook Force. I'm sorry. That's that's, that's a, a very stuff. localized joke. I'm sorry about that. No, he you'd enjoy it. There's no baby oil, but you'd enjoy it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> actually, there's babies, so there's probably baby oils. So, but yeah. hopefully, you're not going to be touching the babies or shaving them. Well, you can what shave. is this conversation? Anyway, right, right, right. anyway, anyway. Thing, anyway. anyway. Thing, okay, rules. okay. I want to win Super Indy. I want to any any uh, Indy company that I can showcase my talents. I want to be on that show. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. just the bigger the stage, the better. And you're getting around. You're getting around yeah. a bit. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, you're, I know Black Diamond, VOW, VOW, uh, uh, Five Star, Extreme Rising. Hopefully, one day here. Yeah. Apparently. Um, um <laughs> asw in madison west virginia okay have you heard of them uh, i think so they're, they're, they're a good company um is that no i won't say that go ahead and then <laughs> i've been uh then i traveled to chicago for uh um uh i'm trying to say resistance it. no uh lucha libre oh okay uh, the oh, nice. I'm, i i i'm trying to think of how to say it I I can't remember. Zima helped me get that uh, okay, booking down cool. there, but uh, yeah, just travel all over. And the typical indie wrestler response: I want to wrestle in Japan. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. didn't see that one coming. Uh, <laughs> and uh, ultimately, I want to wrestle for WWE because why wouldn't you want to do what you love best for a lot of money? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying it's about the money, but if I can showcase it to more people all around the world, millions of people, and make a lot of money doing it, yeah. Why wouldn't anyone want to do that? So you're in this for the money. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Not a typical response. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And of course, you are coming up. Th- well, we'll talk about show you coming up on this weekend later in the show here with IWC, Good. of course. Good. Um, any- anything else coming up? Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm where can ho- people find you? Let's, where, where can people interact with the STD? Okay. With the STD, the very good looking, froey, goggle wearing. STD. You can find them on uh, Facebook. You can talk to me on Facebook. I might respond. I might respond to you. <laughs> I'll accept your friend request. I might respond to Thankfully your messages. he responded to us for this interview. That's right. I mean, it took a couple and, you know, a it couple did. pictures traded back bit. and forth. It took but... a this is a great picture again of Dan Hooven, where I'm oh. pretty sure you're doing a Dragon Ball pose. But which one? Do you know? Or, or, or what is it Dragon Ball or Street yeah. Fighter? Dragon like, Ball Z that... pose. Okay. Yes. But do you know what he would you like me to tell you? Tell me. Um, Ka- oh, Kamahamehameha. Uh, d- no, okay. no, <laughs> no, that's not no. it. No, shut up. The shut up, sir. Shut up, sir. Oh, no, no, shut up. Kame- no, that's oh, more gonna, like. This is going to turn into the this. puppet interview. Oh, no. This, look, look, look at me. I'm look looking. at me. So, this. I'm looking. That, this that. is. <laughs> That's, Call me on me on. That's a move in DDP yoga, I thought. No, shh, shh. No, no. <laughs> DDP, DDP is not Goku. Shut up. Boom. You got that right. Boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> Call me on me. No. Okay. This. Wait. I'm, so, yeah. What are you doing? Uh, yeah. Do I need the picture? That. This. Yes. That. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember how that to... is the final flash from Vegeta. And and I know you're thinking, oh, what, 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 what the hell is that? Look it up. Look it up. Be a big kid and watch it. My bro- I, I, I did watch it. I didn't that, retain a lot of it. Uh, what were you doing during it? Uh, it was art school. It was in. The oh, uh, okay. That's all you had to say. Uh, art school. Yeah. I know it's your dude. <laughs> I'd like to hear that guess later. Um. Anyways. But uh, uh, yeah. Uh. Facebook. Uh. Twitter. I'm trying to use Twitter more because, um, uh, for some reason I just. And I, I've been lazy mm-hmm. with it and stuff, as you could see by my followers and stuff. I don't have any. Tw- Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is is best for the. Uh, I use Twitter as a kind of stream of consciousness. Oh, okay. And whenever you're on giving social media trips on the indie show, like like for me and especially for you, I mean, yeah. it's a chance to show a lot of character. And I think it is. It is. Um. Um. Or promote your shows. Yeah, uh, that, but, that's but, nice but too. Whatever you have set up, or your phone, however that is, what is the easiest way? Like for the longest time, I would do Twitter via text message, even though I had an iPhone, because it was the easiest thing. And say, boom, boom, type my thing out. It's out. Mm-hmm. It's out. Just get it out as quick as possible with as little effort True. by you. Sure. So, sure. so that that's kind of my my tip for you, other indie wrestlers. We yeah. see how WWE is is amazing with their social media. That, that's true. I, I mean, mean, Bray Wyatt has a Twitter. Oh how God, amazing that. is? I mean, I'm sure you don't understand. We don't understand half of it. Because you know, <laughs> Bray Wyatt. You know, obviously, he would have a Twitter because that oh, yeah. makes sense. That completely makes sense. Tons of the sense. Message, right? Wait, do, do the other guys in the group do they have Twitters? Like their I individual? Hope the guy with the mask does, and I hope Luke Harper's is just him whistling. Do, does it just have like <laughs> run? It's like oh, <laughs> just just went to subway, had a foot long. Hashtag run. run. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, uh, Facebook isn't working on my phone right now, so I am uh, tweeting a little bit more. Good. Because Twitter didn't abandon me. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter is not heartless bastard. Uh, all right, thanks, Andrew. Pass, stick around for a little bit of uh, conversation with us. First, we want to tell you about a uh, good place you can support the Mayhem shows. Uh, we got a great and another place you can actually support indie wrestlers on there. Maybe Andrew Palace, you'll get a shirt on here if you don't already. Uh, have you heard of ProWrestlingTees.com? I heard of it, but I don't know all the information. Let Do me you have give it? you all the information. First of all, Ooh. we're on ProWrestlingTees.com. You have and t-shirts? We have t-shirts. Oh, I'm we do them. have t-shirts. They, the, 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 you saw Riz. That's what he was wearing. Was property oh. of mayhem. 
shirt that they wear them yeah. at the shows all the time okay yeah you're busy being an std i understand mm -hmm. uh but but that's how we get our word out oh uh, along okay. with the twitters and the facebooks of course uh but you can go to pro wrestling tees.com slash wms and we got a nice little page store up there and you can check out stuff we have the good times at wrestling mayhem so you'll never forget that email address property mayhem uh and of course the wrestling mayhem show logo if you dig the show if you dig the shirts if you love the designs of one alex cars our friend from california uh at alexcarsdesigns.com um i think i got that address right or follow him on twitter or just ask me or you email good times at wrestling mayhem show and i'll just give it to you uh but while you're there also be sure to support other other indie wrestlers, other great stuff. We just saw that Jim Ross is actually on there under the podcast tease, so he's kind of a cohort of ours now because he's in the podcasting world. That's, that's awesome. um, there's also, this blew my mind today, not indie wrestling, but there's our Andre the Giant t-shirts by, and these apparently with the proceeds going to the the um, the uh, estate of Andre the Giant. So it's actually going to his family and everything. So wow. that's really cool to say. That's really cool. But the big thing for this show I want you guys to know about is indie wrestlers have sh have shirts on here that you can check out. Like the Young Bucks, like Zima Ion's got a few shirts. AJ Styles, Chris Hero, um, a lot of these a lot of these guys, IWC alumni actually. Cole Cabana, DDP's got their with his yoga and such. Um, Cliff Compton, a lot of ROH guys. For some reason, Vader, Sabu, and Kamala. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Blue Meanie, ACH, I know you like him. Johnny Gargano, friend of the show, who was actually going to be there Saturday at IWC. A whole bunch of guys. You want a Shark Boy shirt? You can get a Shark Boy shirt. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> but while you're there, why don't you toss in one for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Get yourself a couple shirts. Wear them to the indie show. Support indie wrestling. Support Mayhem. And uh, you can check out links to that all over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We have a few of them. We have a few of them around. A few indie shirts. A few Wrestling Mayhem show shirts. Uh, so we can, we can s proudly support the stuff that we did. We need an indie Mayhem show shirt we soon. We do need an we indie do Mayhem need show shirt. Maybe we can start a whole other store for that. So... Proceeds going to broke indie wrestlers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, sorry, it has a charity, you know. Um, really nice. Got, really got, nice. Veda Scott, you're a fan of Veda Scott, Amen. You should get a Veda I Scott like, shirt. I do like me some Veda Scott. I actually have a Veda Scott t shirt. Nice, right now. nice, excellent. So, but if you, you didn't have one, you should go to prowrestlingtees.com and get one. Yes, but make sure to start prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS. So, we do have a discussion topic. We're doing better than we were last week on that front, at least. Um, yeah. So, you got a big show coming up, Amen, of course, down there uh, with what you're that little group you're in, <laughs> involved in with inspire pro wrestling who may have awesome guys like freaking ray Rowe and chris hero against each other oh my nice. god that was a good yes match. which you can Freeze. view on youtube.com slash inspire pro wrestling uh, or inspire pro video excuse me and listen to me scream over it because i was so excited <laughs> um because it was so good um but yeah there um we which the show, our next show, No Room to Die, is still a month away, April 27th. But we did get to announce the full card uh, for the show this past week, which I think could quite possibly be one of our bravest uh, put together cards that we've ever done. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff on there. We had already announced uh, previously, uh, after our last show, uh, that New Japan Pro Wrestling's Takaaki Watanabe would be returning to Inspire Pro to take on Andy Dalton, which I sh I'm sure is going to be an amazing match. But the international talents are growing for that show. Uh, not only representatives of New Japan Pro Wrestling in uh, Watanabe, also Lance Hoyt will be there who's another New oh. Japan Pro Wrestling talent, former uh, New Japan Tag Team Champion uh, and former WWE TNA star. Yeah, also, I was going to say, like, that Lance Hoyt? That Lance The guy Hoyt, that used to come one. out with Guitar Hero guitars? I was just thinking about him today, too. <laughs> really? Like, yeah, I was. That's a random person to be thinking about is Lance Hoyt. I know. I know. I was just thinking, I'm like, I was thinking about tattoos, and I'm like, oh, as long as it's not a lower back tattoo, because that one dude had a lower back tattoo. <laughs> And it's his like, lower, what was that guy's name? tattoo is legend. It's, it's, it, it is. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's cool, but I'm like, not many notice, guys can pull that off. I did notice that Zemas has grown into a back tattoo. Mm -hmm. So that's probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell but, him I said that. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll be sure to post this on his wall. <laughs> I'm, I hope he doesn't listen to the show. I'm sure he doesn't. He's got better things to do being a DJ. No, I, I like his tattoos. I like it. I like his tattoos. I, well, I like, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just a little weird because I, I think he's had Tramp Stamp 
uh, shouts from the crowd before. <laughs> so, so I, like, nothing, did you? I will say nothing personally tops a. Uh, I can't remember the indie wrestler's name, but I was at an indie wrestling show once, and uh, he was a good looking dude, oh. uh, like in good shape, but oh, he nice. had a uh, a tramp stamp that was two dolphins <laughs> in like a yin yang symbol. That's awesome. <laughs> If there is, there's a lot of bad tattoos on the indie scene. So, oh, yeah. I mean, this that could be a whole episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, At least an but along with uh, not only do we have New Japan talents that are going to be there, also um, Tadasuke, uh from uh, Osaka Pro, the uh, soon to be defunct Osaka Pro, uh, will be debuting for us. Uh, at Inspire Pro. Also, uh, resident of uh, Pro Wrestling Noah, Jake Durden, is actually going to be appearing as well. So we got representatives from New Japan, Pro Wrestling Noah, and Osaka Pro all on one show in Texas, mixing them up with uh, all the Inspire Pro guys. Uh, I think that's going to be a really fun card. There's going to be a lot of chances, I think, for breakout performances. Uh, and it's really, I think, a unique card. I think it's going to be something that uh, – is very unique, especially to Texas wrestling, um, which I'm very excited to put on. So, yeah, that's April 27th. And you can already order tickets at InspireProWrestling.com, uh, April 27th at the Marquesa Hall and Theater in downtown Austin, Texas. Uh, go to InspireProWrestling.com and buy your tickets, please, because it would make me the happiest. Um, but <laughs> That's your th- pitch? <laughs> yes, it would. It yeah, makes come, so on. Happy. come on, you want to see me happy. No one wants to see me sad. Come to the show. Um, but no, I inspired, I think, no pun intended, um, one of the uh, – uh, we wanted to do a discussion topic for this week. And uh, I decided upon uh, – we, we've been in the wrestling shows working, but we've also been there as fans and obviously uh, for Andrew as well. But the most stacked show that you've ever uh, uh, been to or been involved with – um sorg do you have one that i guess comes to mind that you that you think of i think you can almost pick almost any year of super indie yeah. right like, i mean i i don't know it, it depends on what you look at like if you're looking for the stack indie or the stack because like they've done the great indie shows they've gun, done the great um um legends and superstar shows so i think they're kind of two answers yeah. you know what i mean yeah i mean well it was like i i think my favorite my favorite of the legend slash superstar shows was I think last year when we had gold dust Piper, oh. you know, I mean, and, and this year sounds ridiculous, uh, with, with, with heart styles and with Steiners and, and yeah. it's like half of WrestleCon oh, the, is there. Steiners going to be so cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know I'm what pumped. to expect there. Yeah. Um, I was, I was, I was told by, I, <laughs> I, I was told by, um, um, uh, Daphne, I was like, you should go over and ask him about uh, TNA. I was like, you don't know if they want to do that. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll take my opportunity here. Who knows? Um, but uh, but no, I, I, I remember some great super indies, uh, particularly like one year, I remember it was pretty ridiculous because, and, and, and maybe because these were guys that were like on TNA at the time, but it was like Black Machine's nose for the hair. I think it was the, the year Larry Sweeney won it. And of course, Larry Sweeney, I was like starting to say, oh, this is the guy in Chikara and doing all this stuff and ROH and all that kind of stuff. Um, um, uh, Spike Dudley was there, but that didn't work out too well. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. But you know, I've you know, heard, I've like heard the Spike Dudley story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was an unfortunate unfortunate day there um but but yeah I, it, it's it, it does seem like like almost every year it's like the who's who of yeah. indies they're, they're really good about putting that show together last year we had our ach on, on the on the show and your sammy callahan's and all that kind of stuff um i, I mean that is like regularly usually the biggest card uh, um from the time to time and that's putting over like you know shows where i you know i remember a show that had Here's one, Ooh. the hundredth episode or episode show for Norm Connors when he had the two night stint. And I think the last night was all cage matches with like Zima, Zima and Gory against like maybe uh, the Gambinos or something like that. Mm-hmm. But like during that weekend, you had Sandman, Styles, Daniel or uh, Christopher Daniels just showed up out of nowhere. Um, um, and plus, like you know, all the guys that would soon be in TNA and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it was. I think Raven might have been there, you know, and and that's still in a point where like I wasn't like tired of Raven. It's like no, yeah. you just stop, man. You know, yeah. um, it, it, like it was a ridiculous time looking back on it on, on the number of people that were on that show. So I have a lot of them from from my WC, obviously. But mm. yeah, and uh, 
yeah, it for me it's it's it, it's kind of the same way. It's like I didn't uh, start getting in the IWC until like I started training, mm-hmm. just for the fact that I didn't know about it. Mm-hmm. Like I lived a little distance away in like a farm town kind of thing, but uh, mm-hmm. so I mean I've been to ROH shows before and other big indie shows, so it's kind of hard to you know say which one's bigger than the other. But I'll just say the ones that kind of meant the most to me was uh the first night of superstars that i saw like i was still training at the time uh it meant a lot uh to me it's the one with uh mick foley foley was on it because um, oh, yeah geez, who else was on uh mick one? foley uh chavo guerrero yeah the mm. chavo shima match was ridiculous yeah yeah definitely well, that that one was big for me because uh i i've always been a huge mick foley fan and uh he was one of the reasons i wanted to be a wrestler so seeing him was just like, ah, oh, dream come true. He gave me a fist bump when he walked in. That was epic. <laughs> and uh, it was last year's uh, Night of Superstars that I also uh, liked because uh, I've also been a huge fan of uh, Gold Dust, mm-hmm. like my whole life. And uh, like he was walking through the back, uh, the locker room, and I moved my bag so he wouldn't step on him. He's like, oh. He's like, don't worry about it, kid. He's like, he's like, I can go around. You don't have to move your stuff for me. And um, the goggles I had at the time, my uh, purple round goggles, mm-hmm. I got different kind of pair now, but the purple round ones, uh, they're known as steampunk goggles. Well, they were made that way. Uh, and nobody knew what a steampunk was. Like mm-hmm. when I told them, oh, they're like steampunk goggles. And people would be like, what's a steampunk? Well, I d- You've obviously never been to Comic Con. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, I had them on and I was just standing in the hallway and Goldust goes, oh, those are some sick steampunk goggles. And I'm like, you know what they are? Oh. <laughs> I feel like he's very in touch with the alternative scene. <laughs> so, True. I should have I mean, seen given, that coming. Given, given what he's been, you know, his persona, you know, yes. I'm sure he's investigated all yeah. this stuff. So, mm. I mean, those are the two that actually meant more to me plus mm-hmm. last year i faced dalton castle on the show even though i had uh i had a f- uh food poisoning the night before and like a little bit on that day oh, it's like dude. i i felt like i pushed out a pretty good like a decent match without you know dying i already had it in my <laughs> head i'm like if i puke i'm putting my head under the ring puking and it's jumping back better in than some people have done on a night of the superstar show <laughs> unfortunately I, I i wasn't thinking about that yeah yeah i was trying not to bring that one up um <laughs> but he put on a hell of a show though like he put a like that match was awesome though the, right? the uh chavo Shima one yeah 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 it was just like i was ringside on camera on now i was like is that what oh god <laughs> <laughs> uh and i think fully actually pointed it out He's yeah. like, we are not having this match until that gets cleaned up <laughs> i've <laughs> never seen that and i've seen some sick stuff it was oh it was a great show it was a great show oh yeah um always a fun fun time up there um excellent hey, even would your answer your inspire show or <laughs> well I, I don't want to personally say inspire i don't want to see my own coming. um but no uh the one I thought of immediately was uh, back in October, there was a weekend of shows in Texas where the uh, NWA did co-promoted shows with New Japan, mm-hmm. um, where I got to see Jushin Thunder Liger for the first time, and like getting to see guys like Gato, who like I remember watching on like old ECW tapes like when I first got into wrestling, um, like doing the coming over from uh, Japan, and it was crazy. Like just getting to see and meet those guys and like seeing them mix up with like some of the Texas talents and like it, it was it was crazy awesome. It was a cool weekend. It was a really cool weekend of shows. And the only one other one I could think of was and it, it's more big personally for me um, was the Chikara show that me Sorg and all the Mayhem guys went to in Cleveland in 2010. Um, because living in Texas, like I and living in like South Texas, where there's not a lot of indie wrestling, I was convinced like I was never gonna see the big indie names. Like I was never gonna see you know the guys I would buy DVDs for and and stuff like that. But on that show, like I got to see Claudio Castagnoli, I got to see Eddie Kingston, Delirious, and we like barely because of the luck of someone getting choked out with a tie, got to see Brian Danielson. And that was crazy awesome. 
and and just watching that and being a part of that and it's just i i was like a little kid in a candy store the whole night like it was it was it was so much fun but those are the two that i can think of um and it's, it's always cool to be a part of those shows because it's one of the reasons why i gravitated towards indie wrestling and loved it so much was you know their ability to sort of bring people together and and deliver such you know stellar shows awesome awesome yeah well we got a lot of great shows coming up here so uh we should get into that amen i know yes me, i know you've be, got some stuff i got some stuff once again there's two shows sorgatron media will be um um representing at uh thankfully a lot closer so hopefully i don't have a clearfield hell weekend again uh not the show itself typically it's the before and the after that was the problem uh so uh in our backyard here in pittsburgh amen uh we actually have of course uh this guy is going to be involved in something yeah and you're taking on another friend of the show <laughs> and Keith Hodd, who we had on a few weeks ago, he looks scared. I'm not scared. You got Keith Hodd, man. You've, you've, I'm the first entry in the Super Indie. What's Keith Hodd? Former tag team champion with Colin Delaney. That's cool. <laughs> I'm a current Black Diamond Wrestling tag team champion with Chess Flexor. And, and I'm the first entry into super indie you know what I, I think can i can i put you on the spot here put me on now, the I'll spot put the graphics on put, here i'll put, put the graphics on. on here so so you know what's going on can you give me this is gonna be a test oh crap okay uh, now now you started watching around smackdown but do you do you know like the old like promos like early 80s like we're coming to the ridgefield coliseum and this is going to go down and this is why you need to come to the show kind of promos i i, I Kinda yeah. Okay. Kinda okay. sorta. Yeah, you yeah. watching WWE Network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The old stuff. The old WWE stuff, you know? Network. Um, I want you to give me an eighty style we're coming to your town promo and tell me about what's coming up in IWC and why people need to freaking get down there to White Oak. Oh crap. You're killing me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> in two minutes, go. Let me tell you something, brother. IWC <laughs> See, I don't even know where to go with this. That's all you need. You got the that, name of the company. Yeah, IWC, Uncivil War. You got Dalton Castle and Joseph Brooks. You that's the party peacock, and you got the flavor guy that breaks things and confetti flies everywhere. Now, let me tell you about them S. TDs, oh boy, STDs. They got they got their hands full with these country gentlemen. They got Jock Sampson and they got Tyler Mc. No, not Tyler. <laughs> Bronco, 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 Bronco McBride. <laughs> and if that doesn't tickle your fancy, if it doesn't tickle it, this ain't an '80s promo anymore. But if it doesn't tickle your fancy, move you up got, in the '90s. Let's move into the '90s. We're in the '90s. <laughs> no, uh, no. No, no, uh, no, 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 that. no, 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 McChesney nuts, you're that's a match and it's gonna happen. So you should wanna watch that. And also, also you got the neon ninja. He's creeping while you're sleeping. He's not Santa Claus, he's facade. And he's facing Johnny Gargano. And look at look at that. Oh, he's wearing he I'm looking at the picture right now. He's wearing a belt. If a guy has a belt, you know he, he's good. And that's he not even good. A, that's not even an IWC. It's belt. not. It's not. That means he's like, hey, I got a belt. I'm gonna bring it to IWC. I'm gonna show all you. I wear gold on my belt. And uh, the next match, <laughs> put the next match up. <laughs> next match, the founding fathers. We don't mean like Thomas Jefferson and Washington and all them creeps. No, we mean the founding fathers of IWC, and they're facing John Bolin. Yeah, he's a tough guy. He's really tough. And the Knight Riders, uh, they're not as good as the STDs because obviously they lost twice. They're rocking the denim, though. They do. They do. It's a nice. Anyways, the net. Oh my God. <laughs> and the main event. That's not the main event. <laughs> it is Keith Hot. <laughs> Oh, Keith Hot, just dancing around, shaking his little titties around. Against. <laughs> oh, my God. I, 
I, I'm marking out right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Andrew Palace. He is the first entry into Super Andy. How can you not be excited? I oh, just want to grab your monkey, you know? Just grab your monkey. <laughs> just grab it. Because this is Andrew Palace, and he's facing Keith Hot. How does not that not tickle your kibbles and bits? How does that not? You got to be there for that. I wear goggles. My God. And, uh... Is there any other matches? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uncivil War. IWC. Uh, this Saturday. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. There it's you go. It's going to be fantastic. I think you made a good case for the one you're going to pick this weekend. But, of course, there is another one. Uh, we'll have representation down there for RWA Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Wheels is in the chat room. And, by the way, he says his favorite was uh, Night of Legends with Powers of Pain with IWC. Nice. Uh, Demolition, the guys... And the guys and baseball 07 with abyss because he stayed and hung out with the fire department till 2 a.m. That's pretty cool. That's nice. That That's is awesome. Cool. I hope he wore the mask the entire oh, time. Oh, I know. He <laughs> awesome. has to, right? Yeah. Um, not now, of course. Oh, but yeah. I was say, because then it's just Joseph Park and. Yeah, <laughs> and that's not quite as exciting, at least not in 2007. Uh, but no, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, you're going to be down in um, uh, West Newton at the uh, West Newton Gymnasium, of course, uh, headlined by the rematch between uh, WCW former star Lodi, the sign guy, and uh, uh, <laughs> this guy's also the hammer. <laughs> He's not Joseph Brooks, I just realized. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll send the other thing. Um, but uh, Ash and Amherst, uh, of course, uh, exclusive with Ryan Rain. Generation Data, we were talking about on the card as yeah. well. The tag team champions down there. Bikini contest what? with a friend of the show from two weeks ago, Sarah Feeney and um, uh, Jesse Bell Smothers. I'm sorry, I can't read the text. Of course, Ryan Mitchell, Chris Taylor, and all of those guys over in RWA. Nice. Fun, fun show. Had good. a blast editing that DVD this last month. So, awesome. good times. Um, and Eamon, I know you got another one. It's coming. coming where, the, where the hell are they having the name show? Yeah, if you're not in PA, place. but if you're in Rhode Island, oh. Providence, Rhode Island, to be uh, in particular, uh, Beyond Wrestling is holding another one of their big uh, events uh, at Fet Music in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, they're building, I think, a re some really good events over there. They're also, I think, building but greatly to what seems to be a Beyond Wrestling versus Ring of Honor sort of feud. Nice. Um, which could be very interesting. Uh, the main event uh, is uh, JT Dunn, who was victorious in their uh, tournament for tomorrow uh, this past year, taking on Chris Hero. So it's, I think that's going to be a very intriguing matchup. That should be definitely very good. I've heard amazing things about JT Dunn, uh, so that should be very interesting. Also, Tommaso Ciampa from Ring of Honor, the Ring of Honor television champion. is taking I believe that's Ciampa. I believe that's Ciampa. Ciampa? Did Kevin Kelly it? tells me Ciampa, I believe, on the, on the ROH TV. <laughs> <laughs> Tommaso Ciampa uh, is taking on Drew Gulak in a submission match, which should be very fun. Also, uh, Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish are going to be there. Michael Elgin, Jimmy Jacobs, uh, and tons wow. of other people. Uh, and Beyond Wrestling has always been – innovating in the world of independent wrestling i think they're some of the best and uh i definitely think you should go support them i believe you can go to lookmondofans.com to go buy tickets uh and go to that event this sunday march 23rd in providence rhode island because it should be a very fun one excellent and of course we got the indie challenge playlist this week a friend of the old wrestling mayhem show ricky starks yeah, uh, he had a um, pretty good. I, I I was watching the ACH match. Ah, it's so much fun. AC, it's AC so match much is fun. Great. It's so good. I've always thought, um, from the time when we interviewed him, stuff we're first looking at his videos, like he. I think I got somebody else's match here. I got Sammy Guevara versus Chris Crony. Oh, did I hit the uh, new, as we talk I about hit the new one? No, oh, spoilers, 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 spoilers. Forget that. Forget that. Um, <laughs> but but. I've always, as I, as I watch him, he and I don't know size wise, you know, you know how he stacks up and everything, but he he's mm -hmm. got the look that I feel like this guy should be in the WWE. Oh, absolutely, and he and he very well has been. Uh, hopefully, he'll be in the <laughs> oh, WWE right. in another capacity. Uh, not getting tuna salad shoved in his ear and thrown through oh, a table. He's a Ryback victim. I keep forgetting that. Yes, he's the original Ryback victim. There's a. Uh, <laughs> there's another. There's no other better than Ricky Starks, but uh, no, I love Ricky. Uh, Ricky is really great. Uh, he has that confidence about himself and that oh, personality. Yeah. 
that really drives him very far. Uh, and I know he recently moved to St. Louis from Texas to sort of break out more and get more appearances and more and work for different companies. Uh, and I'm sure with that move, like he's going to be amazing. I think he's going to really break out. I, I, I would not be surprised if uh, you uh, everyone uh, knows about Ricky Starks in the next year or so. Awesome. But yeah, uh, yeah, Ricky Starks was the challenge last week. We do have a challenge for this week, a talent that uh, is another resident of Texas, but is a talent that uh, I, I believe both of you should know very well uh, because he's competed for IWC in the past uh, as a part of their Proving Ground event. Uh, and that is one Sammy Guevara, mm. uh, who is, uh, I believe he wrestled Facade as part of that Proving Ground event, which is in the playlist, actually. Um, and as well as a bunch of matches he had in Texas, uh, even some from Mexico. He's traveled to Mexico a good bit. Uh, and uh, one from Inspire Pro Wrestling in a, in a tag team affair. And he is ungodly athletic. Mm -hmm. uh, he is one of those guys that I think, has definitely honed his craft over the past year. I've seen him, I remember seeing him around this time last year and, and to see his transformation, I think he's learned a lot. Um, and he's, he also, he had a recent match at Inspire Pro against ACH, which when it comes out, you have to watch because it's one of the wildest things I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, our challenge for this week is the self-proclaimed best ever Sammy Guevara, uh, which you can uh, see the playlist of a bunch of his matches on youtube.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, but you're not limited to the playlist. You can watch whatever you want of Sammy Guevara's. Um, but when you do watch it, let us know what you think of Sammy Guevara by either tweeting us at mayhem show or sending us an email at good times at wrestling mayhem show.com. And we will read them on the air. And, and have a little discussion, and that'll be fun, and it'll be nice, so, because we'll be spreading the word of, of indie wrestling uh, with these guys. So, yeah, that was, is the challenge for this week. Another place you can hop in uh, for that, if you go look up the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook group, maybe, maybe we should start it. I, me, I'm putting this out there. Maybe we should start an Indie Mayhem Show Facebook group. I don't know. Maybe. Kind of separate that. Because <laughs> it kind of gets buried with uh, WB Network and, and, and Roth memes and all that kind of stuff. And and maybe we should kind of separate that out a little bit. We'll think about that. Let us know if you think that needs to happen as well. Maybe you can bring some people over to that and we can have discussions about these people in the playlist. Uh, yeah. And everything. So. So have a good time with that. Uh, so excellent. Uh, Andrew Palace, he's going to be here. I think he told you all about where he's going to be this weekend. Where? That was, the, that, that, that was White Oak. White, White Oak? White Oak, PA. White Oak, PA. Is it for some place called the International Wrestling Cartel. International Wrestling Cartel. <laughs> I don't see. The this world. The world is watching. The, the world is watching. <laughs> this is this is not. We've gone past eighties and nineties promos, and now we're into something beyond Sexy that. Sexy Mean Gene promos. That's what we doing. Um, Sexy Mean Gene. <laughs> shit. Um. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, but no, you can check out at Andrew at the Andrew Palace. Yes. Check him out on Facebook. Yeah. All that stuff. All that stuff. Black That's Diamond cool. Wrestling. Yeah. Uh, Black Diamond Wrestling. Vicious Outcast Wrestling, International Wrestling Cartel Wrestling, uh, ASW Wrestling down in Madison, West Virginia, and uh, wherever else I seem to pop up. All over the place. Yeah. Look for him or request him in your town. Do it. Maybe we can get him down to Inspire. Hey, I would love to have him down to Inspire. Yeah. We, should, we, should, we, we should arrange well, an IWC yeah. fellows road trip down there. Yeah, I'll I mean, drive. I, and, and I mean, Ray Rose down there. Shane Taylor's down there. Yeah, you know, they're down there. You're already familiar yeah. with it. Yeah, it's an exchange program. Yeah, bringing bringing people together. That's what the Wrestling Mayhem Show does. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, thanks, guys. Again, check us out. Like I said, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. All that stuff we talked about on the iTunes, on the YouTube's, anywhere you can find audio or video. Uh, we're trying to be there. Let us know if we're missing any of those things, <laughs> including iHeartRadio. And again, we're every Tuesday live around about 11 p.m. Eastern or so at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, SorgatronMedia.com. Look for the live link on there. It's pretty big. You can't miss it uh, on, on Tuesday nights at least. Um, so with that, thank you, Andrew Palace, Eamon from Texas, and uh, I'm Sorg at Sorgatron at Eamon2, please. We'll see you guys next week. Make sure you're still and always supporting indie wrestling. Never said I was a gangster or thug, but I 